Hello? Who? Who's that? No? Who, who's that? Oh, okay, okay. I'll just, I'll just wait outside. There's nobody in the office yet. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, right. Amy's coming. <clears throat> Courts of Justice, that's the Parliament. Oh, I forgot that's Fanny coming over <coughs> to um, give me the um, videos of the uh, 21 guns banged off on the 12th at 5 o'clock in the morning. Sorry, I just about forgot about the uh, camera going. <coughs> I'm just getting my, my machine out <coughs> to check my pulse in a minute. I'm waiting for Danny. And I just didn't realise the camera was still running. Uh, but anyway, this today is Sunday, the 17th of September 2017. And Danny Watson's coming over. He's with Waitaha. I get on all right with Danny. Um, but I just want to make sure that all the uh, information here, he gets the right ones. And the rest is all uh, the Whakaminia with um, Bundy and, and 
money he's is separate again for the Moriori. He's got to have his own. And Bundy has the Cook Island um, Tahitian. And I've got the Maui that's separate again. I've got the Maui statue and I'll be running the business in uh, Britain uh, with the Freemasons and uh, with the uh, Westminster government. Uh, while uh, my new manager will take over the whole business here. I can run from there, but she'll be running the whole uh, office uh, with new staff. She'll hire the staff, and uh, I've got to get ready to go. Uh, but I won't go until the British military picks up on, on what's happening here and uh, bring um, bring the military over to Rangitukia on my land blocks, uh, 7B, and the other uh, Long Point Motel would be seizing all those lands that I wanted to uh, with a writ warrant. Uh, I'm just putting it together now, and I'll put it on on um, a bit of it on <coughs> for you to see. I'll, I'll run it quickly before Danny gets here on this video. As he's just rambling. I'll spin this round so you can see. Now here we have the writ warrant, ex writ of execution, control, and possession of the King's Land seizure property rest warrants. So you see here that's King. Um, um, that's King William III. He's the creator of the Bank of England and this municipality, uh, um, eight point star on my, on my head, which is here. I'll be challenging John Key and his, uh, his eight point star who, who gave him authority. So this is our king of him on his horse and him on his horse here, the sheriff, right? This is the sheriff in the court, courthouse. Uh, the uh, Native Magistrate Grand Jury Trial Court in Auckland that we're running on um, Te Hunga Waka Marae. Here's the two chiefs here of 1820 to 1830. Hunga Hika, the Cook Island, Tahitian, and Tira Waikato Whare Here Here Manukau, the Māori at 1820. He's the one that signed the deal with King George IV for the land selling New Zealand, the whole country and the Pacific Islands. He is the one with the legal documents, not Hungi, but they are <coughs> natives from here. The original is Chatham Islands, the Rekuhu Island, and the other Maoris called it Farikori, which is not an original name. The original name of Manukau is on that country, came here to Manukau here from there. I've got all the history for that, so if anybody's got any challenge to that, you better put it in front of the court uh, because if no one objects or no one can refute what I got with their own title, then it's going through to the British as being um, outright title. The outright title is here. I just want to show you. The outright title is here. The Moriori Manukau title here with Mohi Manukau, the Freemason. All right. So the Freemasons are the <coughs> legal owners of all the legal documents in the world, all the instruments, before they went to uh, Edinburgh, uh, to, from Edinburgh Mag Magistrate Court, where the title was put together with this chief here, Te Rawaikato Wharehere, Herehere Manukau, to Rewhere for Manukau, and uh, King William IV, and then to Mohi Tamati Manukau, and from him to me. Success, successor to his Freemasons uh, inheritance title uh, to the documents. All the words that are in here, some of them are from the Freemasons and they have a right to all the words that are a likeness to theirs and the other words are a likeness to my own royal writing. So here's our whakapapa here to the Rogans who put the titles together in this country, New Zealand and Australia. John Rogan is his grandfather that Mohi was with the, the survey paired with him in the Awaroa native court in Helensville. That was Mohi Manukau here. He was with his grandfather putting all the titles together. He was 98, I think, when he died. I went to his funeral and um, um, put, put, his, uh, put uh, a speech across to the Freemasons and... Um, um, then we'll go from, from there. I will, I will stick with them because <clears throat> they are the uh, 
security behind me and what I do. Here we have King William IV with his eight-point star and his uh, Crown and Anchor Admiralty Court Martial Law of the Sea. He's the only one that's got that in the sea of commerce. He created the commerce laws with these two chiefs here and King George IV, the brother of King William IV. King George IV died in 1830 and then King William IV took over with Refa Refa Manikau and Simon, <coughs> Simon um, William Simon, Cornwall Simons at Manikau Heads. Here's our reigning monarch with eight point star, um, King Ernest Augustus V, reigning monarch behind King William IV, uh, Dutchman. Okay, Dutchman, Dutchman. Two Dutchmen, and that's our title, the Dutchman. Zeeland, New Zealand is Dutch. The discovery of this country under British rule. Okay, so we go down here. This is all the writ warrant for all the names here of those, starting with John Key. And it goes through, and there's us in <coughs> Waitangi Marae on the uh, treaty grounds. We opened that up as a native uh, Grand Jury Trial Magistrate Court. And we've got John Key here wanted. This has been rolling for a while now. He's defaulted more than three times. And there's all his convictions in this Declaration of War flag that we have behind me here. And he's wanted. This has been advertised and um, <coughs> in for quite some time now. And uh, uh, so there's the bill against him with the two chiefs there. And the goal... Um, um, Holy Grail at the bottom of St. Mary's Church in Edinburgh. That's our title and the um, uh, Caribbean Islands where the gold is 300 million metric tons of gold there and the Philippines 1.7 million metric tons, tons of gold belongs to this, these kings. They created that commerce with the eight point star on this head. Okay, so don't argue, it's on our flag. The eight point star is on our flag <coughs> and it belongs to us. There it is there. Okay, and there's our stamp here with King William IV, King of Commerce on the left, and um, Hongi Heka on the right, and Kira Waikato Whare Here Here Manukau, the two chiefs, and talking to um, Kendall. Uh, Kendall, Bishop Kendall, took them to England, and uh, Hongi Heka learned um, a British um, uh, military style fighting. And uh, Tira Waikato did the land title transfers and banks and mortgages. Um, so that's how it is. So that's the Whakaminiga stamp I put together myself and designed it. There's the bills for ANEX uh, invoice company in London that'll be sent out. It's, it's defaulted now. Back to the day they uh, arrested me on Cook Street and back to 2008 when I took that land block on and started the cases there. There's the 970 million trillion trillion pound notes against all the 30% of the Queen's royal, <coughs> royal family and Rothschilds and all the rest attached to her fraud, including the Vatican and United States of America and US Federal State Government, IMF, UN, EU and NATO and Israel. All of those and Saudi Arabia. All of those. There's the title to New Zealand that's been there rolling around since 2008 with Mohi Tamati Manuka and Tira Waikato Whare Here Here Manuka. That's out to 500 miles <coughs> out in the ocean, including the Pacific Islands under the Maui. There's uh, uh, John Martin from the Navy uh, and Patsy Reddy there in uh, Titi Marae, or Waitangi Marae, I think. No, Titi Marae, I think. Titi, Titi Marae and Waitangi. Um, so we're capturing them in the fraud. We have caught them and there's the defendants there, John Key, first defendant John Key, and then back it goes down the list right to there and the stamp there to certify to Westminster Parliament and <coughs> Westminster Magistrate Court and the High Court of Admiralty in London this claim against these people and there's Rothschild there and King William and his gold coins and his pound notes and we have his own pound note that we fashioned from um, 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 King Tafio pound note. There's, there's our court at Waitangi. There's me wearing this shirt. The, the police, CIB, Natalie Flower, Jew Brown, 
seized this off me. She seized this stolen in the police station as evidence against them. They lost their case against me. So I'm using that in our court hearing in Auckland, the native grand jury court against them. There's the uh, <coughs> order for the uh, a notice for them to appear in the court on, um, on the 29th of September 2017 at uh, um, uh, Te Unga Wakamarae in Ipsum, one Clyde Road and Manukau Road, just up from Broadway, the intersection of Broadway, um, Manukau Road and um, Great South Road. It's about 200 metres up the road on the left-hand side towards the airport, and that's where the marae is. There's the first list there, John Key, Patsy Reedy. She's the, um, John Key's the ex-Prime Minister. Patsy Reedy's the Governor-General. Bill English, the, the Prime Minister. Sean Elias is the uh, Chief Justice of the Supreme Court. <coughs> and here we are. Manahi Parapara Mohini, JP, instructed by Sheriff Hawani Wano, that's me, Legal and Democratic Services. I'm following the format of Westminster Parliament. Okay, and the um, and the court there, the uh, magistrate court. Um, uh, <coughs> for the claimants, their lawyer is supposed to go in there. So this will be going out if they if they don't attend or no one comes, then it's defaulted straight in again. There's about uh, over three default notices gone out to them already since 2008. I directed the person to. CPRPD 39A paragraph 6.1 No official shorthand note shall be taken of these judgments. Copies of this version handed down are treated as authentic to New Zealand Pacific Islands. Chief Commander Justice Selwyn Clark. Okay, that's Helen Clark. The Honourable Justice Selwyn Clark, ex British UK immigration immigrant settler. Okay, so there I start writing the uh, the uh, court hearing in now. This is a New Zealand Native Magistrate Court, Grand Jury Trial Magistrate Court, I've said that twice. Hearing, this is um, New Zealand <coughs> Magistrate Hearing. I'll check this. Hearing made by the Whakamininga, Paramount Chiefs and myself, the surrogate King William III, King George III, Father of King George IV, King William IV, King Ernest Augustus I, and their successor, King Ernest Augustus V, reigning monarch, King of Britain, UK, Hanover, New Zealand and Pacific Islands. Incumbent, our oath of office sworn to the two chiefs, Hongi Hika and Tira Waikato, Whare Here Here Manukau, and King George IV at Edinburgh Magistrate Court, 1820-1830. King William IV, reigning monarch, cut off at 20th March, 1834, declaration of war flag he gave the 13, 13 Paramount Chiefs at Okiato Magistrate Court, Kororareka, Russell, Bay of Islands, directly from Westminster Magistrate Court with Referef Manukau descendant to Tirawaikato Manukau in Edinburgh Magistrate Court for an assisted order that the defendants and so, uh, so on. I just put all their names in there and fill it in. And I'll be sending that out to them. It'll be a 10-day notice, and that's defaulted. That means it goes straight through. They can't, they can't answer it. And if they don't turn up, it's defaulted again and goes straight into the High Court of Admiralty in London and, and to the Magistrate Court in Westminster, in Westminster City. And, um, and uh, it's a two-hour case, and they'll make a ruling on it back to us, and that's it. We seize any land and the country and all their property. That's the end of it. Okay, that's all I want to say with this video, because Danny will be here soon, bringing the video. I want to put that with this, and the proof of claim is in the videos. All the videos, I've just put about 15 videos on, um, with the, the seven-day event we had up in uh, Waitangi, up to Timurai and Hokianga, at Danny's um, um, Waitaha headquarters. <coughs> now, um, uh, I, I, I've been a bit upset, but when my manager takes over here, all my attention will be on the tidal energy turbine bridge and the hydrogen, first hydrogen passenger air aircraft to get that flying. Uh, so that's my uh, one year it'll take to get everything going. That's how quick it is. Um, it's all ready to go with the plans and everything. I did, didn't have the money to pay anybody. So we'll sort that out. Straight away I go straight to Scotland and set that up, um, but I'll get the British 
sort it first and this uh, the Whakameninga and I'll be representing Britain in this uh, Whakameninga, these two chiefs uh, um, deal, contract deal. It, it is a contract between only Te Rawaikato Whare Here Here Manakao. Um, Hongi Hika was not a signatory on those documents as Mohi Manika. I've got all those, uh, they are private, uh, they are only uh, privy to uh, myself and uh, um, um, Manahi, Parapara Mohini, and um, um, other paramount chiefs of Manukau family. So this is strictly uh, uh, Moriori, uh, um, native to the title of New Zealand. That's, that's, that's what this, this is. It's only this, this family. They'll come forward one day when, when they identi identify themselves. I know who's who. I know who's who. They're all mixed up in the wrong side of the crown with the Queen. They can stay there because that's 30% debtors and the creditors is this side with the Moriori and the uh, Freemasons title of Scotland in Edinburgh and the Holy Grail of the St. Mary's Church in Tiki Tiki to uh, the Holy Grail St. Mary's Church in Edinburgh just up the road from West Westminster, I mean Edinburgh, Magistrate Court. That's where all the titles came out. That's where all the it, uh, documents, all the documents that are uh, legal instruments in commerce and under the King come from there and this will override any documents that got a Queen's head on it because she got her authority from these Kings, not Queen. Queen didn't go around the world with Admiralty. She doesn't have her own Admiral. She's only Vice Admiral second hand. Now that Prince Philip has resigned from Edinburgh. There's nobody there to pick up on this, and I've got all the information more than he has on how this works and with captains on ships. I'm acting as surrogate King William IV, King William III, King George IV, St. Uh, Patrick, and St. Mary's. I'm, I'm acting for all of that and the Moai statue and my own family in Raiatea and Rapa Nui to Mokotui, Mokotui on now. Land box at the East Cape. So that's me. Okay, so uh, Danny will be here soon. So I'll, I'll finish this video for now and we'll catch up with you. Oh, I just want to test my, test my brother. Let's, let's, let's see what it is. I'll write it down before he gets here. So I made one earlier with, with, with the equipment. It's 141 over 85, 141 um, um, uh, systolic and 85 diastolic. And 63 pulse with uh, when I took the medication, right? I took the medication because the blood's running too high. And the <coughs> Fitbit was um, Fitbit was 69, and my Oxy, the little one here, oh, the Oxy was the Oxy was hang on, let me see, 67.97. So I'm just going to take Oxy now. It's the little one here. I've got to watch my heart because every time I get upset, it goes boom right over the top, and it could kill me. But I, I'm, 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 make, I'm, I'm making sure I've tested myself all the time, and uh, I know who makes it go up. The people who tell me things that are not true. Eighty ninety nine. Ooh, that's gone up. Sort of. Hell, that's that's right up. Ninety nine. Eighty. Eighty ninety nine. Okay, that's that one. Let's do this one. Let's do this one. Let's see what this one is. Okay, here we go. Got her on here. Pump it up. Press. Yes. Up she goes. I'll see what it goes to. And time is eight forty eight. Eight forty eight. And I'll send this to my nurse. Now it's one thirty four. Well, she'll be happy with that. 134 over 106. Not happy with that. And 60, 67 pulse. Pulse. It's still high on the other reading after I've taken the medication. It's 7 medication at 7.30.
7 o'clock, I mean. 7 a.m. medication needs. Um, 134, 10667. There you go, that's the reading date. Just to show you that I just took it now. This morning when I took it earlier, it was 67 over 97 and it was 141 over 85 over 63 pulse. So there's a big difference. It's dropped some more down to 134 but it took off up on the other side so the nurse will be um, um, interested in that lot. Uh, and the pulse uh, oxy, I'll just take another oxy so I can show you. Uh, you're my witness. Um, but, um, I'll take my medication when I feel that I need to, because when I'm talking to people, it shoots up. It shoots up, um, and, and arguing and getting upset makes it go haywire. I lose my breath. It's still coming away. It's, it's going right up, right up the bars, and that means the heart is very good, pumping very good. I'll show you in a minute. I'll get a reading first. There's a, there's a beating away, look. Beaten away. It's 81 over 97. 81 over 97. 81 over 97 at 8.50. 50 a.m. Okay, so that's that. I better go outside now. Danny should be here soon. And um, I'm going to bring him in for a little talk. And uh, where's my phone? That'll turn off, it'll turn off itself. So I'll go down and uh, wait for him. <coughs> yeah. I got too much weight on. Oh, I'm video's still going. Sorry. I was just getting ready to go. So that's all for now. I'll turn the video off now. I keep forgetting it all the time. So um, I'll just go outside and see Danny now. So have a nice day. Bye.